Hello everyone, it is the morning. I have quite the to-do list today, lots to do. I have to uh, do a couple of client things, finish up some brand kits I'm doing for some clients. I have a call with a new client. Then I have to do a little research for my podcast. Um, I have most of it built out, but I have a few more things to look into before I record that later. I just put a lot of stuff up on the Patreon, um, put up these folklore themed wallpapers. I actually had to pause folklore to uh, record this little bit here because I'm just always playing it. It's just like my go-to. Anyway, yep, have a lot going on. I have like a little to-do list I wrote out. So I have a couple of planning sheets here that I'm using. Um, just like written down on paper. I'm working on designing planning sheets, like pads of paper um, for myself and for you guys, if you're interested, because that's just like how I do. I'm the kind of person that loves just like writing things down. I like seeing it like written. I'm also hoping to drink a lot of water today. That is another goal for the day. So it would honestly be a good time for me to show you guys a little home update. The couch is kind of like a mess, but we got this new gallery wall. We put up all these prints. Um, I know it's like not perfect. That's kind of what we were going for. Very asymmetric, that sort of look. We got all these prints from Decenio and they're all very cool. Kind of beachy, but for the most part just like cool. He really just like thought this guy was cute, so we put him up there. We got this one, the three surfer girls. It's my favorite because it represents the three of us in the house. This is me, that's Julia, and that's Hannah. So it's just me and Piper this morning. She's like, stop bothering me, I'm tired. <laughs> but yeah, I think this is my favorite little nook of the apartment. These two chairs we got on Facebook Marketplace originally from I think West Elm and this actually was my bedside table in New York but we moved it here so this is our little space uh, the blue couch is definitely a statement we saw it on Facebook marketplace and it just looked so comfortable we needed it so we've kind of designed the apartment around the blue couch amazing now I am trying to get control of my inbox. Now it is the afternoon and I am rewarding myself for my hard work. I'm gonna do a little reading on the beach. I'm gonna start this book here that I just picked up. It's called They Wish They Were Us by Jessica Goodwin. It's hot, I'm in the mood to go swimming, so. <laughs> long day. I am in my little peach pajamas. I need to like button the last two buttons here, but just getting ready for bed. You can see my room behind me is like pitch black because I do not have a good lamp in there yet. So this is like the only light in my room in the bathroom. But yeah, I'm just going to get ready for bed, brush my teeth, you know, the whole nine yards, do my little nighttime skincare routine. Cucumber herbal conditioning cleanser. It's like almost gone from Kiehl's. I put a little of this on. It's like empty, my Kiehl's ultra facial cream. Put on my Glad Skin eczema cream under my eyes and like my problem areas, like all over my body basically. Lip sleeping mask, I love this. Oh, hi Piper. I will say though, I think the the cat is using the litter box at this very moment. She decides to use a litter box. I'm getting used to being a cat mom. Anyway, so I'm going to just do my skincare, brush my teeth, and go to bed. My ponytail is like sopping wet because of how sweaty I am. Anyway, a moment of silence for my sweat curl. So we had a very successful day at Trader Joe's. We're not planning on eating out at all this week. So we got all of our meals. What'd you get? Mandarin orange morsels, chicken less. Chicken less. We got this for tonight. We're gonna make, we're gonna make this tonight, right? Um, yes, we're gonna do that with, I got this cheese 
cheese to put on top, and, and tomato sauce somewhere in pizza here. Sauce. Pizza sauce. Pizza sauce. Okay. Whew. So, I had too much tequila last weekend, and I have been dehydrated ever since. So I've just been like consuming a ridiculous amount of water today. A follower made me the cutest dirty martini print and a few others from my roommates. So like this one, this is like me in a drink. Julia wanted a Moscow Mule. Hannah wanted a mojito. So we have these three. We're gonna put them in our kitchen. KH Creative Shop on Etsy. So the other day I was feeling very uninspired or not very inspired by anything I was seeing online. So I got out my iPad and doodled some things on Procreate and got them printed online. Um, this is one of them. Claude Monet quote, I must have flowers always and always is a pretty one. Then I did this one, there's a cat hair on it. <laughs> uh, extra dirty, I doodled this guy. This one I'm not really sure about, <laughs> might be a little much, but you can see it's a layered one. So there's some lettering back here and then like bigger lettering on top, but it says Je ne sais quoi, French phrase. I hope I said that right. And last but not least, we have Martini Girl. <laughs> so these are going above my bed, hopefully. Um, I just got a little bit of my wet hair on her. Sorry, Martini Girl. A bunch of things on my to-do list today. I have uh, frames being one of them, so that's gonna be a project, but I wanted to show you guys that I have so far for that. And eventually, once I get my life together, I'm gonna open a shop where you guys can buy my prints. So that's coming soon. I also designed some other stuff that's coming out this year, um, some glassware, other stuff like that. So a lot of just like functional everyday things you guys can use and like really love. So I'm really excited about that. Um, yeah, so the rest of the day is just me honestly sitting here uh, finishing up my to-dos because I have quite a few of them. I have to pay my Amex bill, you know, just fun stuff. And then later tonight, Julia and I are making dinner. Oh. mango, green grapes, frozen green grapes. I'm making this by the way, this size is for Katie and me. So you can do less of everything. Ginger. Yep. Cuba ginger. Anti-inflammatory, um, you know, kills a lot of bacteria, bad bacteria, which is obviously it gives it the green color. Scoop some of that out. This one's Katie's. Actually, I'm gonna put these around the side like this. Hey guys, so I'm currently making one of my charcuterie boards. Well, it's kind of just a cheese board with fruit because we're having meat for dinner, so I thought it'd be a good compliment. We didn't really need meat on this one, but typically I'll throw in some like ham, prosciutto, that sort of thing. But this one is a vegan, well, <laughs> kind of <support. laughs> literally not vegan Jeez. at all. Um, whatever the word is, it's meat free, no meat. So not vegan at all. It's like literally. Vegetarian. It is like the opposite of vegan. It is like the vegan's worst nightmare. Anyway, I have two soft cheeses, three hard cheeses. We have some uh, dried fruit, two different kinds of figs. One that I'm actually really intrigued by, it's like this like light colored fig. It's like a light green fig. And then the holy grail, literal best thing ever. <laughs> Truffle honey. This stuff, guys, this literally is the biggest crowd pleaser. Every time I put this on a board, people cannot get enough. 
they're obsessed, they're like, what is that? So definitely if you want to win an award for your cheese board, get this. Anyway, so I'm just gonna like start crafting the board. Uh, Julia's gonna get some great B-roll. Um, and then, yeah, that's, that's what's gonna happen. Then we're gonna eat it. So. Hard cheese, soft cheese, I'm just um, arranging the last of it and then throwing the fruit and everything else in there. Adding in a little bit of fruit. Messy, but not too messy, like deliberate messy. <laughs> and then we're gonna put the figs and the crackers. So figs, that was a bad one. One of my favorite things to put on the board is just, <laughs> okay, that was also a bad one, holy shit. I don't work well under pressure. Thicker slices. I don't work well under pressure. Okay. Oh, this one's a perfect one. Oh, wow, beautiful. Okay, so the crackers. These are beautiful crackers. I love how they look, and they're a really good, nice wafer, so they're not super thick. They are these ones. What's the brand? 34? The yeah, that's what you see in the store, 34 crisps. So I get the rosemary ones. I like how it tastes. We're just gonna arrange the crisps. <laughs> Kind of use the, the cheese as like a bookend. Do you want to leave some room for them to go in and get in there? 